It's a choice so rare, less than 7% of the population becomes Hoosiers this way in any given year. It may seem like a practice of a former time, but midwifery is a present day preference for some Hoosier families, including moms seeking a home birth. If you're a mom to be seeking a bilingual birth experience, you're likely going to be facing only one face in Indiana. <laughs> Marisol Holman thinks her job is more important than yours. The realization of what it means to likely be the very first person to touch another human being coming into the planet. I mean, seriously, there is no other greater honor that I can come up with. Her calling card is her name. But it's not become just, just because of me, mm -hmm. because of my name. And she said, oh, she speaks Spanish. So that was like, I want her. <laughs> I wanted something very intimate. She is the only Spanish-speaking Latina home birth certified professional midwife regularly working out of homes. Colombian-born Holman is based in Anderson, Indiana, but travels hours around the state to catch babies, as she calls it. Because she knew Spanish and because she was from a, uh, from a South American country, there was a special kind of bonding. I kind of trusted her automatically. With a state as diverse as ever, it may be important to embrace cultural traits and traditions now more than ever. The latest U.S. Census estimates show that from 2010 to 2013, the Hispanic population grew more than any race or ethnic group in the state, with Lake County leading most others in growth. Holman says she wants women of all ethnicities, especially Latinas, to be empowered to know maternal care is not one size fits all. My, my families of color who come usually at the consultation when they come in and sit down. Then shortly, usually after, there's a, you have people that look like me birthing. You know, there's pictures, there's dolls, there's, you know, whatever. Um, and, and have said that's just so comforting. I, I need the affirmations that people like us do this. Holman says her fellow midwives and hospitals have just as high a calling, but a 2013 change in Indiana law, House Bill 1135, only recently made the work she does now possible. Recognized midwife assisted home births as legal. Look, you should be able to have your baby wherever you want if you're making an informed decision. Anna Vallo is a doula who provides non-medical care to pregnant women. As the legislation committee chair for the Indiana Midwives Association, she says culturally competent and thorough training is the loudest call from the midwife community. So in those cultural type settings, having a care provider who can serve them and respect their needs as well as their wishes and their beliefs, that brings together some continuity for their care with a woman with brown hair who looked like me. Holman says non-nurse midwives preserve cultural preferences of women they serve, but says not all voices in maternal health think home birth is a safe option. The Professional Society of Obstetricians has called home births riskier than hospital births. Holman says she's worried about backlash, but says her concern for diversity is greater. She says only 15% of her clients are black and Latina in Mexico and in Central America and South America, who's using them now is the very poor because they're very much on the outskirts. Although in her experience, Latina women aren't as open to the idea of home birth, she thinks even understanding those cultural differences is key to starting dialogue. Daddy. 15-month-old Elizabeth Ray is special to her parents, but also statistically rare. Figures from the Indiana State Department of Health show only 27 Hispanic babies were born by home birth in 2012. Elizabeth's mother, 35-year-old Joanna Perez Ray, says when she moved to Carmel, Indiana a few years ago from Chile, she wanted to embrace a form of birth culturally frowned upon. I, I don't know if there are many Hispanic women that want to have the children at home. It's seen as um, something you, you just want to avoid. You, you just don't do that. It's not safe. It's not anything that, that you would expect in a, in a birth. So when I told my friends and my family, they were all shocked and like, 
You shouldn't do that. Yeah, my mom said, I don't understand you. You have all these ideas of how a birth should go in a hospital is that. Elizabeth's mom says having a home birth expert with whom she shared a cultural connection was so invaluable, she's doing it again. <laughs> Thank you. I'm doing it again. With Marisol. With Marisol having, having the, the mix. It was a little bit of a mix in English and Spanish, actually. I don't know. It was so amazing. And I'm so grateful I was home.